Somewhere in Asia, there's a city that cannot be found on any map called Tokyoto. But everyone just calls it Tokyo. The two hottest things in the streets of Tokyoto are the punks wearing magnetically driven inline skates powered by newly developed Metrium batteries and Jet Set Radio, a pirate radio station manned by the DJ Professor K that plays nothing but non-stop hardcore music. Those street punks have been named Rudy's by the people of Tokyoto. They roam the streets and cover the city with their personal graffiti, claiming that it is their way of expressing themselves to the world. However, ever since the Metropolitan Government and the financial conglomerate, the Rukkaka Group, combined their efforts to co-found the 21st Century Project, the streets of Tokyoto have never been the same again. Police crackdowns on the Rudys have become more severe, and Captain Onishima is more anxious than ever to put them behind bars. The streets of Tokyo To are ready to explode. Hey out there, this is Tokyo's very own number one pirate power station, Jet Set Radio! Over the hood, through the streets, and right into your brain. We're transmitting our signal straight to you. Y'all got your antennas on or what? Yeah, we're right behind a smooth stream of supersonic sound. And I'm your captain and DJ, Professor K. Jet Set Radio! Three gangs are fighting for the Tokyo streets. In the west, from Benton Cho, the city of the night, we got those high-tech maniacs, those mad machines, the noise tanks. And in the east, from Kogane Cho, the city of the sunset, it's that crazy, monster mask wearing gang, Poison Jam. And from Shibuya Cho, in the south, the city of daylight, it's those troublemaking punks, the Gigi. The Gigi's home turf, Shibuya Cho was just attacked. Was it Poison Jam? They were talking about spreading out there. Or maybe it was the noise tank trying to send a system crash through the whole city. Listen up, all you innocent fools out there. Officer Onishima has got some special order to Satsu bracelets all ready for you. So, get yourself to the bathroom and brush those teeth, boys and girls, because a whole load of trouble is heading your way. Let's get scratching. I'm hijacking the airways and terrorizing you with tunes because we're going to turn these dirty streets into one big dance party. Jet Set Radio! Those cats who ransacked Shibuya Cho turned out to be the love shockers. Love broke their hearts and now they're looking to do some breaking of their own. Watch out for these psychos. When you see their heart-shaped graffiti around, you know someone somewhere is crying with a ooky ooky waku waku feeling. Can the GG save Shibuya Cho from the trap of love, or is it too late? We're gonna blast your blues with a burst of pure sound. This is your very own One Punch Knockout Broadcaster, Jet Set Radio! Which one of you punks want to step in the ring? Shibuya Cho got some love letters on the walls from the lonely lovers, but they were raised before Mama could see them. But now they've gone away somewhere. Were they just flirting to have some fun, or is this some new game they're playing? Territory is a territory. Territory is a territory. Let's get scratching. This is your very own guerrilla broadcaster, Jet Set Radio! Use this city as your canvas and paint us some vibes from the street. And now for our local news. While the GGs were busy going after Kogane Cho, their faithful pump Pots was kidnapped! Woo-hoo! I guess it'll be classified as dog napping, huh? I wonder how much ransom you get for a dog. The Keisatsu is staying out of this one, so y'all better keep an eye on your own dogs too! Poison Jam! Them horror freaks are really pissed. They haven't seen a good slasher flick in months. And after the action in Kogane Cho, they're out for revenge. It looks like we might be facing a bloodbath here. Better put on your garlic, honey, because the vampires are on the prowl. <laughs> Jet 
Jets at Radio. This is Tokyo's hard walking, truth talking, always squawking Jet Set Radio. Even the Kisatsu tune in here when they're not eating donuts. Looks like the Gigi's have filled the streets of Kogane Cho with their graffiti. The poison jammers are hopping away like little frogs. If the Gigi's go after them, Kogane Cho will be all theirs. Let's get scratching. We'll leave your mama gawking and your daddy walking. We're Tokyo's biggest, baddest buccaneers. We're Jet Set Radio. Poison Jam is finished. They're worm food. And there ain't no sequels in the works for these monsters. They're in the grave for good. Whoa, all of a sudden a big black car came by and picked up Poison Jam, snatched them right away. So is this a real kidnapping this time? Or maybe it's just the garbage collector. That was one cool garbage truck, all right? There was a piece of a broken record in a mask that got left behind. Is there a clue here somewhere? Why was he hiding something like that so carefully? Or maybe it was just a piece of junk. <laughs> Jet Set Radio! Turns out it was the noise tanks who kidnapped the Gigi's pet pup, Pot. The noise tanks from Benton Cho. They won't eat anything without additives and chemicals. No veggies or food for them. They're into that Frankenstein food. They sell software to pay for their spray cans. Right on, brothers! Word is, last month's big blackout was their work. Look out, get these guys mad and it's no cable for the kids. Get scratching. This is Tokyo's Gorilla Music Broadcaster, Jet Set Radio! Let's go to the mailbag. A letter from Mr. Osaki asks, How do I get rid of these nasty roaches? Easy, just burn your house down! Benton Cho is ablaze with the GG's graffiti. It's even brighter than the neon lights. After their territory was attacked, them noise tanks ran amok. Their circuits must be fried or something. Maybe they'll be eating dinner for breakfast. <laughs> Go on and get your little doggy back. Music that's vitally smooth. It's Jet Set Radio. Even if you're locked up in the joint, don't forget to turn on that radio. The noise tanks just got scrapped. They played too many video games, and now it's game over. No continues either. <laughs> the GG's dog got home safe and sound, but it looks like the noise tanks made some modifications. Now it moves like a cow. I wonder if they can milk it too. The mysterious record the GG's picked up from the noise tanks fits perfectly with the piece from Poison Jam. Do the love shockers have the other piece? Guess you gotta ask them. Get scratching. Martians come all the way to Earth just to listen to us. We're Tokyo's finest pirate radio, Jet Set Radio! One of the fallen love shockers was holding a golden rhinoceros badge. The golden rhinos are a gang of ruthless Asian killers. Rumor has it, they're the ones who kidnapped Poison Jam too. The Rokoku group is run by a strange fella named Goji Rokoku. It's a huge business conglomerate that pretty much owns the city. Rokoku Project 2000 is Goji's big city improvement plan to increase productivity and prosperity in the area. The future of Tokyo, he said. If you ask me, it's just a bunch of bull. Them guys have been erasing a lot of GG graffiti. Are the GGs gonna sit back and take it? The Golden Rhinos and the Rokoku Project got nothing to do with me, and it's dangerous to get involved. But you gotta give back what you take, right? <laughs> 